Technology is important because it is an inseparable part of human existence and man's restless nature. Humans are constantly redefining their needs and seeking answers to their problems. The techniques developed to solve these problems, simple at first, later sought the help of a systematic intellectual approach based on general principles and logic. If A is equal to B, and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C. It may seem simple to us now, but we should not forget that it took hundreds of thousands of years to come up with. Thales of Miletus's greatness lay in the fact that he was one of the first to examine the world in a logical way. Men knew how to weigh thousands of years before Archimedes redefined the laws of balance. It was he, though, who summed it up and formulated the knowledge which made it possible for us to improve our ability to weigh with precision and accuracy. This logical and systematic approach to things, which we call science, was a gift from the ancient Greek civilization to mankind and lay the foundations for a permanent relationship between technology and science through which a robust technology was established that was capable of supporting a great culture. A brief look at different domains will show us the technological heights the ancient Greeks had reached. Through their mythology, they had even conceived of a technologist god, Hephaestus. They skillfully processed raw materials, stones, clay, wood, and thought up or improved on tools such as furnaces, wood lathes, or pottery wheels, which boosted production. Despite the difficulty in producing them, metals proved their superiority over other materials at an early stage, and the Greeks zealously focused on mining and metallurgy. Techniques such as extracting from a great depth with the use of ventilation pipes, twin shafts to raise and transport ores, or cleaning by recycling water in the area of Lavrio that was rich in silver ore deposits but poor in water, was successfully applied by the iron-bearing Greeks, as they were called. The development of metallurgy, with the creation of copper alloys and later the refinement of iron, led to enormous progress in engineering, which produced durable cogwheels, metallic springs, liners and pistons, in order to build hoisting machines, various means of transport, piston-bearing pumps, war machines, and many others. From 15,000 BC, two- and three-story houses were built with heavy doors, many windows, stairs, wall paintings, and toilets. The development of mechanical means in combination with a corresponding development of measuring tools and mathematics led to the construction of large works, such as the draining of lakes, or the construction of harbors, or providing Samos with water through an underground tunnel about one kilometer long that was dug from both ends at the same time. However, the development of measuring instruments not only helped in the completion of great technical works, but also gave tools of inestimable value to science, which needed accurate measurements. The diopter and the odometer were tools of the time. The astrolabe enabled astronomy to progress. Archimedes constructed the hydraulic clock, and Aristotle tried to improve the accuracy of weighing scales. At the same time, skillfully built triremes and olcades dominated the Mediterranean Sea, both commercially and militarily. The Archimedes screw was used to pump water from the holes of ships and irrigate fields. Medical tools were invented, which included not only simple scalpels, but also colposcopes, gynecology medical tools. In sports, a mechanical system ensured that runners started the race at the same time. Music was played with flutes and lyres, but also with complex instruments like the hydraulis, which is the ancestor of the church organ. Messages were exchanged from a distance with the use of ingenious mechanisms. Heroes aeola pile a steam turbine which harnessed the force of steam, long before the appearance of Watt's steam engine, and automata that moved by themselves, carrying out programmed movements, bring to mind modern motor engines, programming, and automation. 
If what we have mentioned is not enough, just consider the mechanism of Andikythera, the leading example of ancient Greek and world technology, which was preserved inside a wrecked ship to turn doubts about the technological level of the ancient Greeks into admiration. At least 29 cogwheels of great accuracy work together to describe the movement of the sun, the moon, and other heavenly bodies still being studied. A mechanical calculator similar to it regarding complexity would appear many centuries later. The achievements of the ancient Greeks in the area of technology, whether in the form of new concepts or in acceleration of the performance, adaptation and improvement on the techniques and tools imported from the Mesopotamian civilizations or Egypt, created a robust technical context in which the classical ancient Greek civilization developed. So it is not just philosophy, art, politics, military glory, nor simply the Hippocratic Oath taken by doctors throughout the world, or the geometry of Euclid taught ceaselessly for two millennia in every language. It is also all the techniques, the tools and the machines that opened up new roads to technological progress, which continues in the modern world, having passed down through the Romans and Arabs. The exhibition of ancient Greek technology, organized by the Thessaloniki Science Center and Technology Museum, was created on the basis of material deriving mainly from the exhibition in the Crypto Stoa of the Ancient Agora in 1997, and the exhibition held as part of the cultural capital city of Europe in collaboration with the Thessaloniki Technology Museum and the Association for the Study of Ancient Greek Technology. The new permanent exhibition became possible thanks to the belief of the Foundation's past and present board in the importance of this subject and the support given by the state which funded the construction of the exhibition through the competitiveness program of the Ministry for Development. The exhibition highlights technology in ancient Greece with replicas constructed on the basis of information from written sources and the conviction that an understanding of the past constitutes a solid foundation for the building of the future.